Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here and to thousands of folks joining us right across the province online. Friends, uh, tonight the members of our party completed a democratic exercise in accountability. The result is not what I hoped for or frankly what I expected. But I've been clear from day one that I will respect the decision of the members in this leadership review. And I expect all members of our party to do just that. Friends, while, fi while 51% of the vote passes the constitutional threshold of a majority, it clearly is not adequate support to continue on as leader. And that is why tonight I have informed the president of the party of my intention to step down as leader of the United Conservative Party. I'm sorry, but friends, I truly believe that we need to move forward united. We need to put the past behind us. And our members, a large number of our members, have asked for an opportunity to clear the air through a leadership election. And I've recommended, therefore, uh, that uh, the provincial board schedule a leadership election in a timely fashion. I want to thank all members who participated in this process and the hundreds of volunteers who have pitched in. I also want to thank so many of you here and right across the province for your support and the tireless efforts of those who have had confidence in my continued leadership. Friends, it's clear that the past two years were deeply divisive for our province, our party, and our caucus. But it is my fervent hope that in the months to come, we all move on past the division of COVID. And disappointing as this result is for me, I am incredibly proud of the work that this team has done. Together, we reunited the free enterprise movement in Alberta politics, and we won the largest electoral mandate in our province's history. We inherited profound fiscal and economic challenges, and then we went through three once-in-a-century crises, the largest public health crisis in a century, the largest collapse of the world economy in nearly a century, and the first time ever we experienced negative oil prices. And yet, despite all of that, we got the job done, delivering on nearly 90% of our election commitments <laughs> while turning around our economy. While turning around the economy, so we're leading Canada in economic and job growth, balancing the budget for the first time in 14 years, and paving the path towards a new era of diversification, putting parents back in charge of education, passing the Choice in Education Act, and so much more. By the way, did you hear last week, we won an historic victory against Justin Trudeau's No More Pipelines law. And just yesterday, just yesterday, I was with members of our team in Washington fighting for Alberta energy jobs and winning the support of some of America's key leaders. We continue to get the job done as a team. But clearly, a large number of our members want to clear the air with a leadership election. And I fully respect their decision, and I encourage all members to do the same. While we have our internal differences, we must remember Remember the shared values that unite us as Conservatives. And we must always remember the promise of Alberta, this great land of opportunity where dreams come true and anyone can achieve their God-given potential. So thank you so much for your presence. Uh, now, let's get on with the real show tonight, the Battle of Alberta. As Daryl Sutter said yesterday, uh, it's, it's bringing our province together. It's the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. God bless you all, and God bless the province of Alberta.